Hey what's up guys welcome back. In this video we are going to see how to print solid square pattern as well as hollow square pattern. First let us take a look at how to print solid square then we will see how to print hollow square pattern. So here in this figure we can see uh, this figure has five rows as well as five columns. So here I'm in editor. So first things first uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the input from the user. So I'll initialize a variable called num and I'll take the input. So int input enter the number of rows okay the reason why I have placed this input function inside int is because uh, the by default the input function will be in string we need to convert that string into integer type that's the reason why I have placed this input inside int so before uh, taking the input I'll just print out solid square solid square okay and after this we will take a for loop for i in range of what so here we can see the range uh, rows range is starting from 1 and it is ending at 5 so so I'll start it at 1 and I'll end it at num plus 1 the reason why I have taken num plus 1 is because always the last value is excluded in the range function so for example if the user has inputted the num value is 5 then it's gonna iterate till 0 1 2 3 4 if uh, we don't give num plus 1 over here so let's see that I won't give num plus 1 over there I'll just print i and if I execute this and give the value as 5 and here we can see it has iterated till 4 it has not printed 5 so to include 5 we'll give num plus 1 and if I execute this one more time here if I give 5 then it is going to iterate till 5 okay and after that we will print star this first star is for printing and second star is for multiplication and I'll just multiply it with with num okay so num value if the user has inputted num equals 5 then uh, during the first iteration it will print uh, it will print uh, 5 stars during second iteration it will again print 5 stars third iteration 5 stars likewise it is going to continue till 5 and it will again print 5 stars okay so let us execute this program and let's see how the output looks like so uh, so enter the number of rows I'll give 5 and if I hit enter so here we can see it has printed square but it doesn't look like a square because of spacing issue this issue occurs in all the editors so to overcome this issue what we can do is we can just give one space over here and if I just run this one more time and give num equals 5 then here we can see we have successfully achieved solid square pattern okay alright now let us take a look at how we can print hollow square pattern okay so here in this figure we can see uh, there are star there are stars when row equals 1 and row equals 5 so first let us see this condition row equals 1 and row equals 5 and we can also see there are stars when column equals 1 and column equals 5 okay so again I'll uh, open up the editor so here I'll, I have already taken the input from the user I'll just comment these lines first and I'll comment this one as well all right so uh, now I have already taken the input from the user now let us take a look uh, take two for loops first for loop is for rows and second for loop is for columns for row in range row in range of what again we can uh, check here uh, rows range is starting from 1 and it is ending at 5 so same case over here as well so I'll give uh, start value as 1 and num uh, last end value as num plus 1 and I'll take one more for loop for column for column in range column in range is also same case here we can see column range is also starting from 1 and it is ending at 5 okay so range uh, 1 and end value as num plus 1 okay and after this we need to take condition if row 
equals 1 and rho equals 5. So uh, this uh, 5 is basically num value, right? So instead of giving 5, we will give num because we are writing a general program. So I'll give num. Okay, uh, sorry, not and here uh, you have to put or because uh, these are two different conditions, right? That's why. Or one more, uh, two more conditions we need to take. Or column equals one, or again column equals, uh, sorry, um, column equals uh, five. Here we can see five. Uh, if uh, column value is one or column value is five, we need uh, stars. So, here uh, column equals num okay if uh, this condition satisfies then I'll just simply print stars okay and I'll end them in a straight line okay that's why I'll give n equals md after this if this condition fails to satisfy then we need to print what so here we can see there are white spaces uh, these white spaces right we need to print these white spaces if that condition fails to satisfy then what I will give is in else case, I'll just give white space and also I will end them in a straight line, okay? And after every columns for loop, we need to jump to a new line, okay? So for that, I'll just simply print empty, nothing. So basically print function will take you to the new line. That is because if uh, uh, during the first iteration, it will print these stars and then it has to jump to new line right so that's why we are giving that print function over here okay so the program uh, programming part is over let us execute this program and let's see how the output looks like so i'll give five and here we can see it has printed square again uh, there is a spacing issues this happens with all the editors so to overcome this issue what i want you guys to do is just give one space over here and one space over here Okay, now let us execute this and let's see. And if I give, uh, this time I'll give six and here we can see it has successfully printed hollow square pattern, which is a perfect square, which, uh, which doesn't look like a rectangle. Okay, so now uh, let us print uh, two patterns together. So I'll just uh, uncomment this. These two lines, give me a second. All right, and I'll just, uh, print here solid square uh, sorry hollow square hollow square um, all right so everything looks perfectly fine now let us execute this one more time and let's see both the outputs together i'll just uh, take full screen okay and uh, all right so let me run this one more time and i'll give five and here we can see at the top it has printed uh, solid square and at the bottom it has printed hollow square uh, in fact this should be here below and uh, let us give some space over here just print uh, new line and i'll execute this and i'll give six this time and here we can see the solid square is this and hollow square is at the bottom all right so this is the code for it and that's how you print solid square and hollow square pattern using python i hope you guys enjoyed this lecture and i will see you guys in the next one until next time take care